The following paid programming has been sponsored by Yaba TV. Welcome to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Sia Sia. Yaba TV is designed to bridge the cultural divide between Africans and African Americans based on first time knowledge. Our topic on the show today is the real Africa. What do you know about Africa? I have two expert individuals today. One of them is a medical doctor who partially grew up in Nigeria, and the other person is a computer technologist who is from Sierra Leone. You have so much to learn from this show today about Africa and America. On this show, the Yaba TV show, we'll be back in a moment. If you suffered serious personal injuries, whether from accidents or medical malpractice, or if your civil rights have been violated, call the Law Offices of Samuel Obogu. We are located at 4311 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 308 in the city of Los Angeles. Our telephone number is 213-624-1500. We have been tested and trusted in representing accident victims for over 20 years. Call us now. Do you have a business with a very good budget? Do you think you can advertise? Think you can? Call the Yaba TV show. For as low as $1 a day, you can have a good budget. Call us now. Hi, my name is Adriana Medrano, and I am the president of Interaction Más de Una Solución. We do multi-services, including immigration, taxes, divorce, bankruptcy, and we help adoptive parents who can get up to $13,000 per child. Give us a call at 1-800-559-2501. That's 1-800-559-2501. Welcome to Springs of Hope Christian Ministries, where victors are raised. Our Sunday service is 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Bible studies are Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. Earn your degree in theology. Introducing Springs of Hope Biblical University. For church or Bible college, call 562-599-6768 or visit our website, www.springsofhopeministries.com. Miss Charlie. The Credit Lady is Southern California's number one company that has helped hundreds of families over 25 years to gain access to financial freedom through counseling and coaching. Miss Charlie customizes the right plan to eradicate bad credit and begin to restore good credit to her clients. Using Miss Charlie's services, the negative files that hindered you for many years from financial institutions, employers, landlords, and car dealerships will be gone for good. Call today at 1-800-203-6557 or visit www.financialfreedombycharlie.com. YOLO International Foundation is a nonprofit energy analysis center where we measure, analyze, and restore cellular energy to all organs of the body for sustainable health and wellness. So when you are serious about a healthy new you, Come to YOLO International Foundation, located at 3450 West 43rd Street, Suite 102 in Los Angeles. Visit our website at www.yoloenergy.org or give us a call 323-290-2837. Rethink beauty. Find the beauty in you with Mona Sola Natural Hair and Beauty. We have hair care products for all types of hair, coarse, curly, wavy, fine, kinky, and straight, even damaged and color-treated hair. Order online at www 
monosola.com or give us a call 323-377-9176. Welcome back to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Sia Sia. Today our show is very special as always. We promise you that we will give you the best of Africa based on first hand knowledge. The topic today is the real Africa. What do you know about the real Africa? Today, my two wonderful guests, very intelligent people. They're not just another person in the community. They are movers and shakers in our community. I do have a medical doctor by the name of Dr. Lenos Badua. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Then I have a computer technologist. I mean, this guy is an expert when it comes to computers. I have Tamba Lamdo. Welcome to our show. Thank you so much for having me. Wonderful. I'd like to start with, um, you know, the myth about Africa. Everyone that travels to Africa, the first thing they come and talk about, oh, the safaris. Oh, it was so beautiful. Great. That's wonderful. But what about the people, us, the people in Africa? That's what our show is going to talk about today. But let me get the formalities out of the way and have them introduce themselves a little more detail than what I've said. Please, Dr. Padua. I am Linus Padua. I uh, went to medical school in Chicago and I've been practicing for the last four years. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I do my you know, practice at uh, UCLA okay. Medical Center. Mm -hmm. And I came into the country when I was 14. And uh, ever since I've been traveling back and forth. To, okay. to, to Nigeria, yes. So Just came back about two weeks. You can give weeks. us more insight about what's going on in Nigeria. <laughs> Absolutely, What yes. about you, Tamba? Yeah. Well, I am Tamba Lamdol. Um, I actually studied um, here during my undergrad years um, at the University of um, Long Beach, Cal mm -hmm. State University, Long Beach. Mm -hmm. I also hold a master's degree in information technology um, from the University of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. and then went on and became um, a Microsoft certified solutions expert. Uh, with an emphasis in database management. Um, I have been working in the field for the past um, six going seven years now, and um, it's been great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, please, let's demystify Africa, or somewhat mm -hmm. help demystify Africa. You know, when many people travel to Africa, like I said earlier, all they talk about is the safaris. And I know there's much more to talk about. The beauty of Africa, the beautiful land, the natural resources, the scenery of the sea. Oh, man, some areas when you go to the beach, it's like, man, is this Africa? What is this? But God-given natural, uh, natural resources, they are found in Africa. Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, in, in terms of uh, Nigeria, Nigeria is so you know, rich in, in all the natural you know, resources, like you just said. And uh, actually, the, the new capital, being Abuja, mm -hmm. is, I mean, you think you're in the USA, you know, seriously. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. The roads are nice. The roads are just like what we have here in California. And uh, the people are, you know, I mean, they, they're working hard, you know, to, to make the place a better place, really, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tamba, what about you? Uh, let's talk about Sierra Leone. Well, Sierra Leone is where I was born and raised, and um, I love Sierra Leone. Until this day, there are so many things I missed about home coming up as a little boy. You know, it's one exciting place to, you know, as far as my experience growing up. Of course, um, Sierra Leone, like the doctor said, um, also has lots of mineral resources. We're rich in diamond and gold and all of, you know, other resources that are very good, you know, not just for us as Sierra Leoneans, but um, for the good of the continent and, um, you know, universally. Foreign so investors. For me, yes. So for me, coming up was, um, was very, very exciting. You know, we, I remember we were missing, you know, families, missing um, the ocean, missing going to um, um, various other places like beautiful restaurants and um, hotels. You know, so it was overall very, very exciting. And I miss that a lot. I know it's a lot different now, but coming up was an exciting experience for me. So... Having said that, the first thing that popped in my head is growing memories. Yes. I'm pretty sure you have that. Oh, yes. So tell me, when you were growing up in Nigeria, mm. did you ever think you're coming to this great nation, America? And if so, connect me to the growing memories in Nigeria. Well, I, actually, I did, you know, because I am the sixth of... Uh, uh, the last of the you know six children in my family and uh, my just six huh yes 
<laughs> and uh, my uh, my older ones uh, they came to the the states before you know and so when I was growing up I knew I was going to you know come to the states so mm -hmm. and I did and uh, it was wonderful yes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. I played soccer also when I was in Nigeria so it was an exciting you know moment for me mm -hmm. travel like I said I went I went to Ghana that's and another way to keep fit too yes mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely so so I you know I was I was actually you know traveling a lot you know mm -hmm. from one city to the, to, to the mm -hmm. other yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Tamba? What's so your My, my experience is a little different from what the doctor said because, quite frankly, for me, coming here to America was like a dream come true. Mm -hmm. I never thought to be here, you know. But um, again, um, I believe in destiny. I believe this is where my destiny lies. And um, of course, um, to be able to make it here and um, again, achieving the things I have achieved in terms of my um, educational background, um, it's, it's a dream come true. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Hmm. That is all well said, but we need to take a quick break and acknowledge our sponsors. When we come back, we will continue with our beautiful discussion on the Yaba TV show. <music> Do you ever want to sing, dance, do poetry, and develop your hidden talents? Then call Kingdom Youths, Inc. All services are free from ages 6 to 17. Call Dr. Noifo today at 310-999-2668. There's something for everyone in Yaba TV class. We have many categories, from shopping centers. Law Offices of Cecilia Onunquo. We practice personal injury, civil litigation, and family law. Call 909-476-8300 or on the web, www.onunquolaw.com. You are back with our fabulous show, the Yaba TV Show. I am your host, Sia Sia. Today our topic is the real Africa. What do you know about Africa? My wonderful guests, born and raised, partially raised in Africa, they have growing memories. I want to really dive into that. I can't wait to hear what they have to say. And I'm going to start with you, Tamba. Growing up in Sierra Leone, how was life like? Is there a shopping mall? Do you hang around friends? Do you go to the movies? Is there movie theaters? Well, of course, some of the things you mentioned um, are the very same things I, missing, I missed, actually. Um, growing up in Africa because again for me growing up in Africa was very exciting you know and I miss hanging out with friends I remember going out to play soccer just interacting with people you know your neighbors you know and going to the shopping mall you know different from um, how we tend to want to look at Africa so for me all of these things I miss why because um they were part of me. They were things I enjoyed to do, mm -hmm. you know. And um, yeah, those um, are things um, I miss a lot. But again, were very, very good to be part of when I was coming up. Mm -hmm. What about you, doctor? Well, growing up, I mean, talking about shopping mall, I never went to a shopping mall when I was growing <laughs> up. <laughs> I didn't know anything about shopping mall, but I knew about the soccer field, you know. Uh -huh. So I live, you know, my classroom back home. So, but who did the shopping for you if you didn't go to the shopping mall? Well, we do have uh, some aunties and, you know, people that, you know, you know did the shopping, yeah. Okay. I didn't, you know. Okay. Yeah. So what about, um, there's a time where, as you're growing up, myself being African, I've been through this, your parents want you to be 
somebody they want you to be, not what you have possibly thought about. Right. And sometimes they, they shape your destiny somehow. Did you go through that? Oh, yes. I, I sure did. When I was growing up, uh, like I said again, the sixth you know, child of, uh, you know, uh, of, of six, uh, my older brothers were all physicians. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I started off doing, you know, uh, ec I, my, my bachelor's was in economics, you know, and uh, worked in the bank for quite a while. And uh, after a while, I uh, went to my brother's clinic, Julius Padua, and uh, actually saw how well the patients were interacting with him. And, uh, you know, I fell in love with medicine and uh, went you back to school. medicine? Yes, and I went back there to school. There you medicine. go. Yeah. And that's one of the careers in Africa that most parents want their child to be that's a true. doctor yes. or a lawyer. That's true. Absolutely. So tell me this, Tamba. Um, I know Africa is such a huge continent. And again, that's one of the reasons Yaba TV is created to tell you more about Africa, where places, things, people about Africa. Having said that, I'd like to know, have you traveled anywhere outside Sierra Leone in Africa before you came to America? Well, yes, I, I, I did. Um, when I was back there, well, my father happens to be um, born in, you know, in, in, in Liberia. Mm -hmm. and I remember coming up, like, you know, doing our long vacations come July until September, I would travel to Liberia, you know, just to get a feel of where my dad was from, you know, and that in itself was an exciting experience, really, because during then I get to really meet my, my uncles, my cousins, those, um, those are the part of my family, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, I was also privileged to travel to um, Guinea, mm -hmm. you know, and Guinea is a bit different in terms of um, their culture compared to where I was born and raised, Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. This great nation offers so many wonderful opportunities, but at the end of the day, there is no place like home. Absolutely. Absolutely. When we come back, we'll continue our discussion. If you suffered serious personal injuries, whether from accidents or medical malpractice, or if your civil rights have been violated, call the Law Offices of Samuel Obogu. We are located at 4311 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 308 in the city of Los Angeles. Our telephone number is 213-624-1500. We have been tested and trusted in representing accident victims for over 20 years. Call us now. Hi, my name is Adriana Medrano, and I am the president of Interaction Más de Una Solución. We do multi services, including immigration, taxes, divorce, bankruptcy, and we help adoptive parents who can get up to $13,000 per child. Give us a call at 1-800-559-2501. That's 1-800-559-2501. Welcome to Springs of Hope Christian Ministries, where victors are raised. Our Sunday service is 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Bible studies are Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. Earn your degree in theology. Introducing Springs of Hope Biblical University. For church or Bible college, call 562-599-6768. Or visit our website, www.springsofhopeministries.com. YOLO International Foundation is a nonprofit energy analysis center where we measure, analyze, and restore cellular energy to all organs of the body for sustainable health and wellness. So when you are serious about a healthy new you, come to YOLO International Foundation located at 3450 West 43rd Street, Suite 102 in Los Angeles. Visit our website at www.yoloenergy.org or give us a call 
290-2837. At Aviation Shoe Repair, we repair all kinds of shoes and purses at affordable prices. We're located at 3506 Aviation Boulevard in Redondo Beach. Mention this ad and get 10% off. Give us a call, 310-406-1346. Are you ready for this? We will start today's music video with some beautiful women from Senegal. Here is Amiti with a song titled Dunya. up the tempo with Paul Agubata from Nigeria. This group really has a unique style of West African dancing. to our vibrant show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Cecilia. The concept of our show is to bridge the cultural divide. And as we conclude our show today, we cannot do that without bridging that divide between Africa and coming to America. So I'd like to pose this question to you. I'll begin with you, Dr. Gwadua. Yes. Um, <clears throat> what is the difference between your country, Nigeria, and America? And please highlight also, what do you like most about Ni America? And then, of course, what do you like most about Nigeria? The people back home are very loving, you know. And here, you won't even know your neighbor. But back home, you know your neighbors, you, you interact with them, and, you know, things are, you know, are moving, you know, as smoothly. But here, there's no, no interaction with your neighbor. You don't even know who your next neighbor is. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the, the like big Like, where difference. I grew up uh, in my hometown, back home, if you don't go to school, your neighbor sees you, they're going to feed you first of all, but they're going to spank you. That's right. And then when your mother or father, your parents come home, they're going to spank you additionally. That's Did you guys have that? Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. So, Tamba, tell me, the bridging parts of Sierra Leone and coming to America. When I was coming up, of course, um, America was always, in my opinion, the place to be. You know, mm -hmm. developmentally, if you want to really get somewhere in life, you have to be able to really come to America. Mm -hmm. Hope you get the opportunity to come to America. In your opinion, what they should remember about this discussion today, what Africa is all about? There's a big difference, actually, mm -hmm. between here and Nigeria. And uh, I would like them to visit and not have that picture of 
in Nigeria being a jungle where, you know, people ask me, have you seen a lion? I told them, you know, the, the first time I saw a lion was at the zoo. So I don't even know. So mm -hmm. the pictures, you know, I mean, it should be painted, you know, that Nigeria is not a jungle. You know? Okay, quickly, yeah. brother. Well, of course, it's, it's a huge uh, misconception here in terms of how we view Africa. Africa has lots of potentials, you know, and I think if we can only go experience and see what Africa has to offer, we will change our way of thinking. You know, like, for example, I'm in the field of technology. Africa is a lot different now mm -hmm. than it used to in the past. You know, so it's a matter of us going, do our homework, do some visibility work, and see what Africa has to offer. I think then we can all get involved in making a difference. Mm -hmm. Making a difference indeed. That's what this program is about. Our show is designed to educate the viewers about Africa. As to this topic, the real Africa, what you know about the real Africa. I want to thank my guests for taking the time to express to you, our audience, our viewing audience, what they know about Africa. Till then, we will see you next time. But I want to say thank you so, so very much. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you for you. having us. Sir. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. Hey. have often told me just when they're having so much fun with the Yaba TV show time is up well time is up again but we are on every Saturday at 11:30 a.m. on channel 13 KCOP tell everybody you know about our beautiful show the Yaba TV show because this show will not only educate you about Africa but the vibrant beat the entertainment you are gonna be totally satisfy not just bringing you africa but bringing the values of africa to you from the comfort of your living room till then we will see you next week at the same time on the yaba tv show your contemporary bridge to the motherland africa The preceding paid programming was sponsored by Yaba TV.